And now look at this one. And a little one of you shall become a thousand. And a small one of you a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. You see, I don't want to preach into details what is written. Take this word. Keep reading it. Understand. And bring it into contemporary times. The forces of Gentiles. Silver and gold. He said, for gold, I will, for, for silver, I will give you gold. So read, when the glory of the Lord is upon us, and the Bible says, God is taking us from glory to glory. So this is a manifestation of glory. This is one of the manifestations of God's glory. And the word of God is saying, if you want to know what glory means, if you want to know how glory manifests, if you want to know God's mind about glory in your life, upon your family, upon your home, upon your ministry, upon your children, you read the word of God and you will understand the manifestation of the glory of God. When there is the glory of God, the hearts of men are convicted and there is conviction when there is the glory of God men are taken to another level where you were rejected and where you were despised in that same place they would accept and the door shall be opened unto thee and the glory comes upon you in places where you have worked hard and have reaped nothing in that same place when you work little with little effort there will be a bumper harvest when the glory of God is upon you in the same place where you tried many times and you caught nothing by the word of the Lord as you dig deep you are going to have a bumper cut it takes the glory of God to change the life of people it takes the glory of God to make demons bow the Bible talks about Dagon in the book of 1 Samuel the Philistines captured the ark of God and sent it into their sanctuary where they had their demon spirit they are statue when they came the following day they are idol they are statue they are deity had fallen down bowing to bowing to the ark of God Dagon had bowed every name shall bow and every tongue shall confess sickness shall bow demons will bow where there is the glory of God demonic activity cannot continue he bowed and they were angry they said why should our God bow to another because of the ark of the covenant the glory of God was there and so the Dagon could not stand and the Bible said they, they repositioned him this time when they came his hands were off his legs were off because the glory of God was in the house when the ark of the covenant was sent into the house of Obed Edom the Bible says three months just three months uh, listen God is not looking for one year to change your life it's not looking for a decade to change your life it's not looking for two years to change your life just three months when the glory of God went to the house of Obed Edom the Bible says they noticed something he moved from one level to another they noticed something about Obed Edom and the Bible makes us understand they told David the house of Obed Edom has been blessed tremendously his children are no more wearing tattered clothes he's no more begging he's no more a byword he's no more an object of scorn and mockery his status have changed and the Bible said the Lord blessed the household of Obed Edom because of the ark of the covenant it was the glory that changed the life of Obed Edom praise God and we read about this thing God is taking us from glory to glory 